What's up guys, I'm Dean and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I just left the cinema and I don't have a lot of time to make this video because I'm going away for the weekend, hence the wet hair, just ignore that. But I just want to give you my thoughts on this film quickly. Spoilers ahead. I'm going to not do a non-spoilers section because what's the point? So if you haven't seen the film or you don't want it spoiled, just go away and come back to this video later. Uh, it would also really be helpful if you gave this video a like right now. Do it. Okay, let's get on with my thoughts of this film. I really enjoyed it. There were elements of it which I wasn't a massive fan of, which we will get into, but overall, it's a positive. This is my second favourite superhero film of the year after The Batman, and it's one of the best Phase 4 films. I think maybe third best, second best, maybe, but I need to give it a rewatch. Like I said, all these thoughts are so fresh in my mind, and I don't think I fully cemented my whole opinion yet, so this might be a bit rambly, but I'll try my hardest. This film was a brilliant tribute to Jadwick Boseman. I was really heartbroken by the news. I remember that day. There's never been a celebrity death that has affected me like that. And I was dubious about what they were going to do with this film and with Chadwick. And I think they handled it perfectly. Not bringing back a CGI abomination or anything like that. I think was the correct decision. And the way they, 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 they did quickly... Uh, explain his death and, and, and kind of sidestep that, but it was still so beautiful. The opening had me in tears, the funeral was perfect, and, and, and the setup of Shuri's grief and her anger in that scene worked really well as well. Uh, and, and I think the way the callback to Chadwick as the film progressed, and I think the ending all worked excellently as a tribute to him. There, there are issues I have with Shuri's grief and the way her character progressed, but, but I'll get into them in a moment. The action, I thought, was really good. I think there were some really solid action scenes, especially the highlight. It's probably the one on the bridge between Okoye, Atuma, and Nemora. I think Namor was really cool. I'll talk about more about him in a moment. And I thought the cinematography was really, really good. There were some weird editing choices, I think. I think there were a few too many overlays that just felt a bit random and out of place. Some of them really worked and some of them were quite beautiful and some of them were just a bit random. And I was like, oh, someone's got, you know, a bit trigger happy on, on, on the computer here while editing. The music, brilliant. As all, like, I mean, you'd expect that from Black Panther after the, that, that being a real standout of the first film. And like the colour and the costumes and, and, and the performances were really, really solid. Let's get into some of the specific characters, though, and my thoughts on them, starting with our main character, the new Black Panther, Shuri. I know it's harsh to compare her to Chadwick Boseman, because, because he, was, he was something else. I, I, think, I think we can all agree on that. But Shuri kind of just lacks the oomph and the nobility and, and the honour that I think T'Challa had. And I, and I think trying to make her the main character, trying to make her the protagonist of this film, they, they've kind of done her character a disservice in some ways. This character, sorry, this film kept trying to tell us that she is a character wrapped up in vengeance and in grief and she wants to watch the world burn. Firstly, this is completely at odds of what we've seen in, in uh, the previous Black Panther film and in Infinity War and everything else she's in. And that's not, a, you know, a massive issue. That's not, that's not terrible. Uh... Because because you can you can develop a character in this film and you could change her to be like that. But the film just kept showing us like that and I just never really bought it. I don't know if it was the performance, I don't know if it was the writing, but I don't think we got enough time to see that part of the character. I did enjoy her friendship with Riri Williams, but I think it kind of did undermine the, this element of her being such a vengeful, grief-filled character as well. And I just think that is the part of the, the way this film dealt with Chadwick's death that I didn't buy. It was it was Shuri's uh, emotional reaction to it and how that developed over time. But I'm excited to see where this character goes in the future. I'll talk about uh, Namor next. I'll talk about the villain. I thought he was excellent. I thought he was justified. I thought he was a really good, scary, physical threat. I thought he, you know, he... He, he looked the part. I think the costume somehow didn't look silly. And I think the way that they kind of wreck on this character to set it in the Mesoamerican, in, in the kind of, I think it's Mesoamerican, the South American culture, I thought that was a really intelligent way to do it. And I thought that was a really intelligent way to, to build 
him up as a character. And I think Talakan was really interesting. It really worked. And we kind of only caught a glimpse of it. And it was wonderful. I think the underwater stuff really, really worked. There was kind of a gloomy darkness, but beauty to it as well. And and stuff like that I did really enjoy. But I would have preferred to see, like, Shuri there for a little longer. Maybe give us time to really see the scope of this place. I think we kind of missed out on seeing the real, true scope of um, Talakan. So that's, that's one thing which slightly... I, I think this film was lacking, but that's just a nitpick, really, because I think the stuff with Namor really, really worked in his motivations and the flashback. He was a scary little kid. All of that, I think, really worked. And, and the parallel between Talakan and Wakanda, I, I think, worked excellently. If we're talking about nitpicks and Shuri's growth into grief as a character, one, mis one not mistake, one compl We've got no time for editing here. I'm, I'm, I'm smashing this out. One little complaint I have is at the end when it's Namor versus Black Panther, the new Black Panther, and Shuri is about to kill uh, Namor. I think the switch there is just a bit too fast, and I think her decision not to kill him kind of came out of nowhere. I liked what they did with seeing Queen Ramonda again. I, I liked, I did actually really like how they were cutting between uh, Wakanda and cutting between Atlantis and showing how similar they are. But I, th I, I think just just showing us that isn't enough. I think you need to sh show us something that, 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 like, have something, have an outside influence which influences Shuri. And I guess her mum was kind of that. But I didn't really buy it. I'm complaining a lot, but I, I really loved this film. Uh, I'll talk about Queen Ramonda next. Because for me, she was the real standout. That performance was phenomenal and i know the lines in the trailer when she's like i have i'm the queen of the most powerful kingdom in the world and i have lost everything have i not given enough i'm, I'm getting chills right now every time i saw that in the cinema i would kind of tear up and when i saw it in the movie i was crying because i i just i don't know what it is it's just that performance that that you know that moment it was just amazing you know as the trailer says no woman no cry i'm no woman so I cry like three times during this film. Funeral, uh, Ramonda's speech there. At the end, you know, it was a lot. But Queen Ramonda was a real big standout. I think I think she she wasn't in the first film loads. And I, I don't think that's a complaint, because that I like the first film. Uh, but I really, really loved seeing more of her here, and I think that worked excellently. Okay, moving on to Okoye. Uh, I really liked the direction they were going with this character. I kind of like her snarkiness and, and, and that kind of personality she's been developing over the films. And I enjoyed her going to America to pick up Riri Williams. And I liked the back and forth between Shuri there. And, and as, as I was just kind of explaining, I really enjoyed it when she had to uh, give up being general of the Wakandan army as well. I think that element really, really worked. And I think the performance there was phenomenal. I thought she... At, at, at Black Panther's funeral, at T'Challa's funeral, and in that scene, she did amazing. But I think from that point on, her arc was kind of forgotten about, and it wasn't developed as much as it could have been, which really, really annoys me, because it was so good, and it was all there, but they were just missing that crucial element. Uh, also... Okay, I'll get into that complaint in a minute. Riri Williams, I think, was fun and she worked, but I don't know. Like, I understand for plot reasons why she had to be in this film because of the whole thing that started off is her machine and blah, blah, blah. But with Ironheart and the new Black Panther and the, and the heart-shaped herb and Queen Ramonda's death, which I thought was well done. I didn't actually talk about that when I talked about Queen Ramonda. And Namor and Talakan and Everett Ross and Valentina, and and then Okoye's new suit. I wasn't really a fan of Okoye's new suit, and I thought it came a bit out of nowhere, and it was a bit unneeded. I thought this film just had too much going on, and all this stuff, all this, like, comic booky stuff they're just throwing at you, and I love comic booky stuff in comic book films, but here it just felt out of place, and it felt like it was kind of undermining this, this, this uh, exploration of grief it was trying to be, because it would go from being a really solid exploration to of grief to being a really solid fun and camp comic book film but the the movie didn't do enough to mesh these two ideas and that's kind of my main complaint here nakia i think worked uh 
uh, Queen Ramonda's death worked. Umbaku is so fun always, and it looks like he's going to be the king of Wakanda, which I think is great. I'd love to see more of Winston Duke in the MCU. I thought that was really, really solid. And apart from that, this film was just kind of what I expected it to be. It was fun. It worked. Uh, it, it was emotional. I think those elements worked. Just it was a bit bogged down. It was a bit too long. There's a bit too much going on. And I just didn't really buy all of the, the character arcs there. And and like Okoye's one was kind of forgot about. And I'm complaining a lot, but the music was great. The action was great. Namor was amazing. I, I can't say that enough that Namor was a real standout here. But, but that's all I've got to say on this film. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts of Black Panther down below. And tell me why I'm wrong. Because I know you will anyway. Only joking. Uh, it was good to talk to all of you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.